Hi, this is Steve Reese with the Monroe County Reporter, filling in for the vacationing Will Davis. This week's lead story. A Monroe County deputy broke his back when a Florida suspect rammed his patrol car during a high-speed chase on June the 9th. The sheriff's office says Sergeant Kirk Seckinger joined the pursuit of a Dodge Challenger driven by a Florida man speeding south on I-75 at speeds topping more than 130 miles an hour and wound up breaking his back when his patrol car was rammed by the suspect. The 56-year-old sergeant was rushed to Atrian Hospital with a broken back but was released the next day. The suspect, Sergio Fowler of Sanford, Florida, was charged with aggravated assault on the officer, felony fleeing, multiple traffic violations, and marijuana possession. Sheriff Brad Freeman said Seconder is at home for a few weeks, out of work. For more, see the front page of the Monroe County Report. Hey, Monroe County, if you're planning a wedding, a big event, a corporate Christmas party, we have the place for you. Our friends at Make Tent Riddles, Jeff Holloway and his team are Monroe County residents, and they are the best. They are the top of the pack when it comes to tent rentals and preparing for the equipment for a big party. Tents, tables, chairs, lighting, dance floors, staging, pipe, drapes, cooling units, linen, cafe lights, just to name a few. You can even pick up items for rent at their location. Call now for a free quote, 478-746-8269. A drunk man tried to sick his pit bull on Corporal J. Leo Brown on June the 6th and wound up in jail for reckless conduct and disorderly conduct. The sheriff's report said Richard Wayne Moore, who lives at 1547 Highway 42 North, was staggering and yelling profanities on his front porch when Brown and Deputy Jonathan Joyner answered a domestic disturbance call while his wife Rebecca was gathering up her clothes that were scattered all over the yard and packing them into a U-Haul truck. Moore told Brown his wife needed to leave and continued to call her horrible names. He then told Brown he was going to go inside for a cigarette, so the corporal followed him inside to make sure he wasn't getting a weapon. Moore then told him he needed to get out and called his blue-nosed pit bull to attack Brown. The dog charged at the corporal who stepped behind the front door and closed it just enough to prevent him from getting bit. Brown then went to the door to try to close it on the deputy who pulled his weapon and so told him if he did not call the dog off, he would shoot him. Rebecca then came into the house and said she only needed to load three more dressers and she would be finished. Moore followed her into the room and soon Brown and Joyner heard them fighting, rushed into the room and found Moore on the floor yelling. Rebecca said that he might have hit his head on the dresser. Brown turned him over on his stomach, handcuffed him, and Joyner helped him, carrying him to the patrol car, noticing that he had soiled his pants. Check the reporter for more details. Meet all your glass needs right here in Monroe County. Glass Technologies, located at 8499 Rivoli Road in Bolingbroke, offers in-house glass cutting, custom glass shower enclosures, residential and commercial glass replacement, and sunrooms. They specialize in residential services and provide free estimates on all their work, no matter how big or small. Give them a call, 478-993-2101, or find them on Facebook. Hi, I'm Donna Wilson with this week's Monroe County Reporter Incident of the Week. Deputy Corey Atkins was dispatched to a home on Gar Road after two sisters got into a squabble over a melted bowl on May the 25th. One of the sisters told him she started arguing with her sibling after she tried to tell her to take the items off the stove before turning the oven on because they would melt. She said she then walked outside to her sister and her sister followed her and hit her in the face. She said she then took her sister to the ground and when her sister's boyfriend grabbed her by the arms and then dragged her through the grass. The other sister stated that the arguing started after she was accused of melting a bowl. She said she was going to her living space and walked outside towards her she shed because it was too hot in the kitchen. Her sister followed and the argument became more heated. See more on page 6C in The Reporter. <laughs>
Hey y'all, it's Tammy Raffer with the Monroe County Reporter in this week's Everyday Hero. Some people's faith is inherent with their career. As Jill Penley, who has been a physical therapist for 45 years, says, I believe that we're not here by chance. God is in control. She planned on going into semi-retirement, working just two days a week, but that hasn't happened because she still feels moved to be at the Monroe County Hospital every day, helping people who need her. She works out of Monroe County Physical Therapy. She says she really enjoys her coworkers and loves her patients. Jill said she first became interested in physical therapy when she was a young girl and saw a March of Dimes commercial depicting compassionate people helping others. That image never left her mind, and when she became a teenager, she began volunteering at hospitals. She remembers volunteering at a children's hospital in Decatur to see if that's what she really wanted to do with her life, and it was. She attended Georgia College University and became a physical therapist. She moved to Monroe County in 1987 and has been working here since 2017, after spending 20 years working at hospitals and nursing homes in Warner Robins, Macon, and Barnesville. Her advice to young folks, you need to try different jobs. Go volunteer at a hospital. Even kids who work at fast food, they'll know if they can stand working with the public or not. Kids don't need to just say, this is going to make me a lot of money, so I'm going into that. They need to try it out. Wise words from this week's Everyday Hero. Here's another story from the front page of The Reporter. Monroe County's Father of the Year for 2022 has been named. Harold Kendrick Jr. of Forsyth is the father of six children, the grandfather of ten, and the great-grandfather of ten. He was nominated by his daughter for daughter Jennifer Hodges, who said her daddy taught them they could do anything they wanted, and that has, he has been an amazing role model. He will receive a gift card from the Pickled Okra, a gift basket from the Old Mill Market, and a gift card from the Fox City Brewery. Other nominees include Leon Young, Roy Watts, Michael Head, Kirk Van Hoy, and Keith Harbuck. Learn more about these dads in Section C of the Reporter. Monroe County loves its firearms, and there's no better place to get your firearms and ammunition needs than Red Rude Defense, a small family-owned business right here in the heart of Georgia near the Jones-Monroe County line. Check them out for a full selection of firearms, ammunition, and accessories. Hello, my name is Terry Johnson, and I write Monroe Outdoors for the Reporter. This week, I'm turning my attention to the monarch butterfly. The monarch is probably the most identifiable butterfly in the United States. However, for the past several decades, monarch populations have been plummeting to the point where experts fear that it may become extinct. However, recently, news reports out of Mexico give us a glimmer of hope that perhaps the monarch is trying to rebound. Read all about it in this week's Reporter. Monroe County loves its firearms, and there's no better place to get your firearms and ammunition needs than Red Rude Defense, a small family-owned business right here in the heart of Georgia near the Jones-Monroe County line. Check them out for a full selection of firearms, ammunition, and accessories. Juneteenth was celebrated this weekend on June 11th at the Forsyth Monroe County's Telling Our Story Black History Museum at the Hubbard Middle School campus. Museum Director Rosemary Walker said this year's celebration was early because Father's Day is on June the 19th. There were hundreds of people at the gathering that featured a bounce house, a live band, and a DJ. There was also plenty of things to eat. People also took advantage of the open doors of the museum, and there was a steady stream of folks interested in the artifacts and photos from our county's past. Juneteenth is considered to be the longest-running African-American holiday and has been a federal holiday since June 17, 2021, when President Joe Biden signed it into law. See more in the editorial section of the Monroe County Report. Hey, Monroe County, whether you need garage floors, basements, pool decks, or driveway patios, concrete coatings are the ones to call. Commercial or residential, they offer a five-year warranty. Free estimates, call today. Concrete Coating, serving all of Middle Georgia.
This is Diane Gleibel reporting for Monroe County Reporter. Uh, this week I got to go see the renovated Culloden City Halls. The City Hall had some terrible flooding last October, but it turned into a good thing as they uh, got it redone and some improvements and it took them seven months, but they were able to celebrate this past week having everything open and ready to serve the citizens of Culloden again. And while I was there, I got to talk to Mayor Lynn Miller a little bit about something else she does to serve the community as well as being mayor, and that's being a bus driver for Monroe County Schools. Uh, she drives a bus. She started driving the bus at the beginning of this year, and her incentive was that she has foster children, some of them who have some special needs, who were riding the bus, and she was seeing so many substitute bus drivers and realized that the children really needed the consistency, and when they asked her, well, why don't you drive? She said, okay, I will, and she got her CDL and is now transporting those children, and she said that the couple of the most amazing things she's ever done are be a foster parent and drive that school bus. And of course, she also serves as mayor and does a pretty good job at that. But uh, sometime, check out Marilyn Miller and some of the other awesome bus drivers at Monroe County Schools. Monroe County loves its firearms, and there's no better place to get your firearms and ammunition needs than Red Rude Defense, a small family-owned business right here in the heart of Georgia near the Jones-Monroe County line. Check them out for a full selection of firearms, ammunition, and accessories. Hi, this is Steve Reese filling in for Park Davis with Monroe County Sports. The Forsyth Golf Club sends its congratulations to Max Stokes for making a hole-in-one on hole number 12 recently. It's true. His playing partners, Glenn Talbert, Tom Alstrom, and Bobby Crama witnessed the event. His memorable shot propelled him to a very good score of 74. The Rock Springs tennis team has been announced as state doubles champion at the state championship tennis match. The team is coached by David Strobel and Mary Ann Anderson. Coach Strobel said they had a very successful season and the players are working hard and enjoying the challenges. And speaking of tennis, the Monroe County Recreation Department and the City of Forsyth joined forces to provide a summer tennis camp for local youth from June the 6th through the 8th. The annual camp was toasted by the Mary Persons High School. For more, see Section 4C in the Monroe County Reporter. Hey, Monroe County, if you're planning a wedding, a big event, a corporate Christmas party, we have the place for you. Our friends at Make Tent Riddles, Jeff Holloway and his team are Monroe County residents, and they are the best. They are the top of the pack when it comes to tent rentals and preparing for the equipment for a big party. Tents, tables, chairs, lighting, dance floors, staging, pipe, drapes, cooling units, linen, cafe lights, just to name a few. You can even pick up items for rent at their location. Call now for a free quote, 478-746-8269.